So, Mr. Mashungu, I'm really excited about um, the fact that as primary school and high school, we're connecting over our core values. Um, one of the most important documents to us is our um, PVV. Mm. And I know that you've been on the same journey as we have in terms of ACSI, where they encourage us to not only embrace our values, but to try and inculcate them into our children. Um, so um, I'm quite excited that, that we are going to be working on the same um, core value each term and emphasizing it um, through different means. Um, tell me how the high school is, is doing their core values, um, how, how are you promoting them? Thanks, Mr. Halley. Um, we're equally exci as excited. Um, I think we, it's good to, for us to be able to work together. Um, the way the high school is looking at uh, our values is to try and get our community to understand our values. We are unapologetically um, a Christian school and having walked the same journey that uh, the primary school did in terms of ACSI accreditation, one of the things that um, they kept asking us is, um, are we really who we are? And does our community embrace who we are? And how do we communicate with our community in terms of our values and what how are we different from everybody else? So we, we are also embarking on the same journey in terms of looking at a core value and trying to uh, break it down so that people understand how that fits in with who we are and why we do the things that we do. And also to be able to conscientize people about the Word of God and how it links in with our values as a Gateway High School and Gateway Primary School. That's brilliant. I, it, it's so nice that we're on the same journey. I um, have been quite excited because we did a whole exercise of getting our core values and trying to bring them to a level that our children could really um, embrace them. And um, But more recently, uh, as we've started to look at them afresh, we felt that it would be really good for us to be a little bit more proactive in involving the community. So the children have always been a target. Um, and we've tried to raise our profile in, in, in the social media. Um, I ended up doing a video for the Gateway parents um, and children talking about the core value we focused on this term, which is compassion. And we looked at, uh, we're never really sure what term we're in at the moment, but yeah. it was the second term, but it was the beginning of it last um, term. And uh, we, we looked at compassion, how God shows us compassion through unconditional love and um, how we can show compassion through giving unconditional love and then prayer and how we can show compassion through praying. And that comes from our core value, which uh, basically says to um, value and care for each member of our community. So we're continuing with compassion as we're still in term two. And um, I'm quite excited how it links in. We, we focusing at the moment on how God shows compassion through giving us purpose. Mm. And we're actually looking at the character of Jeremiah in our devotions, which is um, amazing because it talks about how um, God has a, a plan for us and it's a plan for good and not for evil. So what you said just now about how the Word of God links in with yeah. our values really resonates. Um, the other area is, is in practice showing compassion and, and how are you encouraging your students to show compassion in practice? I think um, I'm a firm believer in practical Christianity. How do we live the Word of God? Um, and it's something that we encourage our students um, because it says we should be Christ-like and people should see the character of God with what we do. Um, and so for us, one of the things that we, we, we encourage our students in, is in the area of service. Um, and when you serve, you show compassion. You know, um, one of the things that I absolutely love doing is uh, we've got um, that program, which you also have um, with, with, with our students with, with special needs. Um, I think at the, the primary schools, it's called Vanavashe, um, at, and at the high school, it's called Takura Nashe. Um, I absolutely love uh, going and spending time with those students. Um, and the reason why we, we both as, 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 as um, Gateway have that program is because we believe in that, um, the diversity of God. 
you know um, a lot of the times people with disabilities are shunned and they put into institutions and but we believe that we must our, our children should be able to relate to each other um, irrespective of what um, disability somebody may have God made us all in his image and and um, in bringing them together you know our one of the things that you see is real love and compassion for each other you know and it excites me because the genuineness of of our, of our of children you know children aren't as bad as adults in terms of being judgmental etc but um, what is refreshing for me is I see that compassion even um, from my end and also coming from them you know and it's it's it's, it's a huge lesson in uh, the practical side of living the Word of God and and it excites me a lot when I go down the night. And usually I do that when I'm feeling a bit low, you know. Um, my spirit is always uplifted when I spend time um, with, with, with those students. Um, and it's not uh, pity. Um, it's, it's, it's a genuine love, you know. And you see how um, fitting together uh, in a community works through that. So the, that's one of the things. And obviously services, uh, like I said earlier, is huge. Um, we, we, we believe in servant leadership and when we talk about service we're not saying that you go down on your knees and you and you literally you know kind of um, uh, working for somebody but when we say service service comes from the heart you cannot serve um, without the heart you know if we look at the biggest servant of all Jesus had a heart for his people he was crucified on the cross for you and me you know so it begins with the heart um, and ends with the heart. Uh, and what we try and do with our students is prepare their hearts um, for them to have a heart of service. It's not a chore, you know. It is something that you do uh, out of love and out of gratitude and with an attitude of service. Um, so we, we, we try and teach them to be compassionate through service um, and we encourage them to do that um, on a daily basis in their lives. And it's something that we're also wanting to um, spread out to the community in terms of our partners and in terms of our parents um, and just have a community that serves um, and that is identified through service. Amazing. Um, I think all that's left for us at this stage is to, to challenge our community um, to show compassion as it is our focus and in the two key areas that we focused on currently and that is to recognize your purpose and um, to express that through the spreading of the gospel and um, in practice through serving one another. So um, the challenge goes beyond our students, out to our parents and the wider community. Join with us in the value of compassion. Thanks so much.